Nobel Peace Prize for 2019 to Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed Ali. The moment Ethiopia's leader heard of his prestigious prize, and with it, praise from his supporters. As an Ethiopian, we have seen Dr. Abi has played a major role in championing social justice. And what we expect now is, after peace, progress and development of the nation of Paramount, is of paramount importance. Sworn into office barely 18 months ago, at the height of civil unrest in Ethiopia and during a state of emergency, the 43-year-old former army intelligence officer hasn't shied away from taking tough decisions. His biggest achievement is making peace with neighboring Eritrea, following a 21-year-long conflict on their border, which began with war in 1998. Abi managed to re-establish normal relations between the two countries. He also ordered the release from jail of his critics, opposition politicians and journalists. Abi even established a ministry of peace, which includes some of the government's most notorious ministries, such as the National Intelligence Service and the police force. He's also trying to open up the economy, allowing foreign investors a share in traditionally state-owned monopolies. It hasn't been easy, though. Abi survived an assassin armed with a grenade at a campaign rally last year. And inter-ethnic fighting nationwide forced around three million people from their homes. Abi also survived an attempted coup a few months ago by some soldiers unhappy with his leadership. Four of Abi's close allies, including his chief of staff, were killed in the failed uprising in the Amhara region. And he's disappointed many Ethiopians by failing to quickly transform the economy. The only problem they have right now is they wanted the change to happen immediately. Uh, we have a lot of economic problems in this country. Although the economy is growing very fast, the amount of expenditure that's going into infrastructure has been at the expense of livelihoods. A general election is due next May. Some opposition supporters told Al Jazeera that that will be the ultimate test of his peace prize. I believe it will help us an impetus for him. It will significantly improve his legitimacy. It will be understood and it's already understood as an international recognition for not only for him, but you know, for the people and for the country in going forward, you know, tackling these challenges and realizing the ambitions of the mass, the Ethiopian people for a democratic, inclusive and accountable state. As the Prime Minister received the news of his prize, he said he hoped it would promote peace-building efforts elsewhere in Africa. Thank you very much. I'm so humbled and thrilled when I just heard the news. Thank you very much. It is um, a prize given to Africa, given to Ethiopia, and I can, I can imagine how the rest of Africa leaders will take it positively to work on peace-building process in our continent. Abi's job of keeping Ethiopia united and stable is a big one. But he's off to a good start as this year's Nobel Peace Prize laureate. Robin Creel, Al Jazeera, Addis Ababa.